Now, welcome back to another episode of Offline Grinders. I know you probably have missed this series. It's been a while, but I had to knock out Conquest Extreme for all of you first. So we are getting ourselves a free agent common card. Usually free agents, they have no value in the game unless you're looking to get experience through collecting all the free agents. But besides that, they really have no value unless you're doing exchanges. If you don't know what Offline Grinders is, just really quick recap of it. It's basically where we're grinding all the offline content of MLB The Show 20 to see how far we can get in terms of collections and in terms of team overall before we hop into any online gameplay. So we're knocking out all the moments, conquest maps, etc. Right now, it's a step-by-step -step process, step-by-step -step guide, especially for newcomers. So if you're new to MLB The Show or have a friend that's going to be trying MLB The Show out, etc., make sure you recommend this series to them and they can go ahead, click on the channel playlist and watch basically Offline Grinders since episode number one and then hit that red subscribe button and join the kingdom. Be a part of the family. Hit that like button as well. We're going to be focusing on inning programs today once again. So we got the Posada program that I already went and knocked out basically all of the missions except for the easiest one which is the tally one hit we're gonna do that together as always and then make sure you follow me on twitter instagram at blade miss same way it's spelled on the youtube channel username last but not least click on the channel community tab interact with me there for grams you guys already know the deal so we're knocking out the inning programs right now and the reason we're knocking out the inning programs is because overall each moment in MLB The Show is important in terms of like categories because they work towards collections and in general, they also work towards programs. So knocking this out is going to give us some extra stars in the first inning, second inning, third inning program. And even though those stars might not necessarily get us to the point we want to get in terms of having the 300 program stars for the first inning program or second inning program or third inning program in terms of getting those bosses, what we want is to get at least the gold cards because some of them have enormous value that we can make some stubs on and upgrade the team and then others you might just want to collect in order to get the 99 mike trout that is the collection reward for collecting basically all the breakouts legends etc so it's gonna be up to you to make the decision as we're facing a lefty Posada doesn't have great power or contact against lefties, but all we needed is a hit. We got ourselves the base hit, and we're done with this mission. This is the All-Star Game 1. Now, a humongous tip, and this might be something that you don't know. If you're a newcomer, obviously you don't know this, but if you're experienced, you might not know this either. But whenever you're doing multi-game moments, for example, we're going to head into a multi-game moment right here for the third inning with Keith Hernandez. I already knocked it out because I forgot that I was recording this series, and I was like, oh, snap. I forgot to go ahead and actually press record or leave it as one hit remaining so I could show everybody that. But as you guys can see, there are two games remaining. We needed to hit four hits, one extra base hits in the duration of three games. There are two games remaining. We have already knocked out the extra base hit. We have knocked out three hits in the first game. But in general, whenever you have a multi-game series in terms of moments and it has something like hit five home runs, hit seven extra base hits, hit three extra base hits. If in that first game, you don't get yourself an extra base hit or a home run, let's say, then just reset the series every single time. But let's say you're down to your final game and all you need is one hit as we do right here. As our controller disconnects because, you know, it just loves doing that. And let's say all you need is one more hit, right? And this is the final out of the game. So I'm trying to focus and get that hit. Obviously right there, we got ourselves the hit. So we're gonna complete the moment and we're gonna be done with it. But let's say for example, that it was a line out where Pete Alonso caught it directly. And this was the final out of the game. All you do is as soon as you see it going towards his glove, he's about to make the out. You pause the game, you hold the PS4 PlayStation button, you close zap, you hop back into the moment and it's going to go as if you have never played that one game or that final game that you needed. So if, let's say you had seven out of eight hits, you would still have seven out of eight hits heading into that final game. And that's just an easy way to not lose progress when it comes to doing multi-game moments and not waste time in terms of having to reset and get eight hits throughout the duration of three to four games in general it's it's useful trust me you're gonna want to use it all the time now they did a smart thing when they brought in moments extreme which i will talk about and we will do together etc which was 
they made moments extreme instead of being multi-game series or moments it's just singular moments because they knew that if they had made it multi-game moments that we would have finessed the system so fast and would have been done with them so fast for example if we had to hit four home runs with christian yelich over the course of two games we would have made sure that in the first game we got ourselves two to three home runs and then we would have made sure that in the second game if we don't complete that mission we're gonna close that and then hop back in so we can enter the second game again with two out of the four home runs or three out of the four home runs only needing two home runs or one more home run instead of four, four home runs over the course of two games if you get what i'm saying so this is a perfect example this one we haven't completed but we need to complete so we got ourselves andre dawson we need to get a base hit with him that's all we're gonna worry about and first thing i do is fly out to the right fielder dexter fowler if he makes the grab which he does so I'm saying to myself, okay, it's the top of the first. And you want to pay attention to the innings too. Because if it's, say, if it's let's say, the top of the six, and you're the away team hitting, you don't have to worry about quitting out. Because you are almost guaranteed an at-bat before the game ends. Or not almost guaranteed. If it's the top of the six, you are guaranteed an at-bat in the ninth inning. But let's say it's the bottom of the seventh. You still need one more hit. Or you got yourself two hits remaining. And in the bottom of the seventh, you get yourself one more hit and your team has the lead. You're going to want to quit out there, too, because the problem is, since you're the home team, you're not going to get a chance to hit in the bottom of the ninth. So not quitting out will most likely end the game, therefore forcing you to restart and go to the beginning again. So when it's something like that, you're going to always want to quit out if it's the bottom half and it's later in the innings and you still need a hit or you still need multiple hits. You're going to want to quit out. In terms of closing the application not in terms of pausing it and pressing the quit button i'm trying to finish this but i'm swinging way too early but yeah you're going to want to go ahead press the ps button close application as soon as possible and just restart it with the progress that's already made i'm telling you it's life changing it's game saving and you're going to be loving me after it please be a base hit good good now you see we're in the top of the fifth if it was bottom of the fifth i wouldn't quit out because you are guaranteed an at bat in the bottom of the eighth at least you are guaranteed an at bat every three innings if the pitcher's throwing a perfect game so keep that in mind top of the six we're most likely getting in another at bat or not most likely we are guaranteed another at bat in the ninth inning and if the pitcher's throwing a perfect game until the ninth inning we're going to be guaranteed an at bat with two outs in the ninth inning let's say so watch this we're going to be the final out this inning now if the pitcher keeps having one two three innings in the ninth inning we're going to be hitting with two outs and we're going to do exactly what i told you all if we do not get this base hit off of giovanni gallegos which i'm not sure why i'm not hitting with andre dawson right now look at this right you don't even have to wait until he catches it as soon as you see him camped under just pause it close that and then it's beautiful just press mlb the show again and you will see i will take you all through it or before I actually, you know what, I'll just take you all through it. We're going to press X really quickly. We're going to head back into Diamond Dynasty. And you guys saw that I only needed one hit to actually go ahead and finish off the moment. Finish him off in terms of completing all his moments, etc. So, you guys are going to see. Once we hop back in, all we will need is one more hit. And that's it. And you have to be careful because if you hit a line drive shot and they catch it instantly, as soon as they catch it, you better have that hand that finger near the pause button and you better pause instantly close that and then just head back inside and don't worry you can't get banned or anything like that for it i'm not sure why they haven't even addressed it this has been around i think since last year but i think it's because they know that some people have really bad internet etc and it would be really frustrating not even that it would be really frustrating moments are frustrating just them by themselves so they know if they take this out it would be even 10 times more frustrating and people would just be non-stop complaining but look exactly what i said we still have that one game remaining which we had hopped into and we still need a tally one hit that's the beauty of it that's why you want to go ahead and close that etc but like i said in today's video what we're focusing on for offline grinders is inning programs we want to get the inning programs done as soon as possible and the beauty about us doing the nationals player is for the player of the month of april i'm pretty sure ryan zimmerman is the first card so if we tally stats with nationals players it might be our first baseman, one of the two we're going to be working towards him i'm not sure if it's online if it's online then clearly we're not going to be working towards him anytime soon but if it's offline content 
then we will and now look at that we get ourselves that base hit we only needed one more and it's beautiful because now we finished the entire thing we finished the entire moment so I'm gonna take a picture real quick just no as a matter of fact should I let me let me take a picture real quick after we completed his moments fully we get ourselves a Washington Nationals pack containing four life series players and we got some more packs to open up because we also have hit level 40 bronze so that's another good thing for us so we got ourselves a classic player to open up we got three New York Yankees to open up as well we get ourselves Aaron Hicks and Glaber Torres not sure if Glaber Torres has a chance of going gold haven't really been keeping up with the Yankees but I do like Clint Frazier the dude has been raking and he might have a chance of going gold and then Gary Sanchez has also stepped it up a little bit he was hitting like 309 over his previous at bats but look at that we get ourselves Ryan Zimmerman just to go ahead and tally stats with him if for his player of the month we need stats tallied with him and this also helps you out towards collections which we're not going to collect anything just yet either because I want to make sure that when I do collections I don't lock in any player that I could sell and I was going to get one of these guys from these non-exchangeable last but not least we got ourselves Lane Thomas. I'm not sure why it says or why it doesn't say no sell, but you know, that doesn't bother me. Now, in terms of the classic pack, we already have a full diamond starting rotation because of tops now moments, which we're going to be doing tomorrow. We don't need a catcher. We have JT, but even if we didn't have JT, we are going to have our cat play catcher. So the best available option for our first level 40 bronze pack is going to be getting ourselves Charlie Morton, and that's exactly who we're going to pick up. Why? Because our bullpen is what's lacking the most. So by us getting ourselves Charlie Morton, we allow ourselves to add another diamond to the pen. And then I'll give you guys a little bit of a squad update since you guys haven't seen this team in a while. But we have Kyle Lewis here. We have some player of the month cards that could replace him easily, but we need him for when we do conquest, etc. We still do have ourselves Diamond JT, which we got from a pack opening and then we only have two diamonds in the pen but as you guys can see the starting rotation is fully diamond and we have a life series i believe jose abreu fully diamond as well and he only keeps on going up so that's perfect mvp candidate but if you did end up enjoying today's content make sure you guys hit that like button and red subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all social medias at blade miss same way it's spelled on the youtube channel username click on the channel community tab interact with me there Click on the channel, playlist, offline grinders if you want to watch it from episode number one. And as always, for Gramps, have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. Love you all. And peace out.